This is question three from paper one of the 2015 National 5 SQA Maths exam. We're given this fairly complicated looking diagram and asked to calculate the size of angle BDF. BDF, that's this one up here, which is, consists of two smaller angles. It's made up of two smaller angles. So I think we should look at a larger uh, diagram of this. And let's just see what we can see here. We're told that AC is a tangent. So this line here is a tangent to the circle. Now, first thing I notice is that there's a, a radius OB. So you should know that the it's like a, a bicycle tire, bicycle wheel rolling on a road with a spoke. And when the spoke reaches the road, we've got a right angle in there. It's a radius of a circle is at right angles to a tangent to that circle. Now, as soon as we've got that, we can look at the way this angle ABO is made up. It must be a right angle also, because AB sees a straight line. So there's 90, there's another 77, and the bit in there would make up a, another 90, the two 90s on, on that side. If we look, there's a right angle, and the other side will be a right angle. So we're looking at angle DBO. Angle DBO will be 90 minus that 77. That's 13 degrees. So we've got 13 degrees in there. Now let's have a look at this triangle here, the one that I'm outlining in red. And in this triangle, you'll notice that OD is a radius and OB is a radius. And as soon as you have two sides of a triangle being equal, we know we have an isosceles triangle. And that would mean that this angle is also 13. So we can say that angle BDO is equal to 13. And the reason for that is that triangle DBO is isosceles. So we've got one angle of the two angles that make up, up angle BDF. So the third thing we need to look at is, is this angle up here. And, and in particular, let's outline this triangle, green triangle, where you'll notice that DE is a diameter, and therefore angle DFE, this angle up here, is an angle in a semicircle. All angles in semicircles are right angles. So triangle DEF is right angled. And it's the angle, it's a, a angle in semicircle, we'll say that, angle in semicircle. So that's why it's uh, right angled. So if this is 90, and you remember the three angles of a triangle add up to 180, so the other two must also add up to 90 to make up the 180. So 64, uh, to make up to 90, we will get angle EDF. So how much do we need to go to make up 90 from that 64? Well, that's 26. So this angle is 26 degrees. So we've now got our two component angles of angle BDF. So we can go ahead and say, therefore, angle BDF is equal to, we might as well just write this down, the BDO plus angle uh, EDF. So angle BDO 
we worked out was 13 degrees from the isosceles triangle and angle EDF was 26 degrees from that right angled triangle. So we've got 39 degrees for that large angle up here. There it is, 39 degrees. So there was three parts to that. There was this tangent at right angles to the radius. Then there was this isosceles triangle. And then there was this right angled triangle, angle in a semicircle. And that got us to the final answer.